What is up you guys? Perfect. So in this one I'll be showing you how to use PancakeSwap's API and the features behind this API to build your own PancakeSwap sniper bot so that you can get the best out of staking cake, trading bots, and making profit out of crypto volatility. Perfect. Now before we get into this PancakeSwap API for your PancakeSwap sniper bot, I'm going to talk a bit about PancakeSwap, which is by far the most popular decentralized exchange on Binance Smart Chain BSC, which has become something of a blockchain sensation in recent months given to its high liquidity, diverse feature set, and sizable user base. Now the platform is intended to enable users to safely trade Binance Coin, BNB, and a large number of BEP20 tokens without depending on centralized services or even losing control of their private keys. All deals on PancakeSwap are automatically completed using the so-called smart contracts as a decentralized exchange, thus entirely removing counterparty concerns. Now, despite the fact that the PancakeSwap team is fully anonymous, the platform has been inspected by numerous well-known blockchain security organizations, including Certic and Slowmist. So PancakeSwap is a very, very good way if you want to stake crypto, stake cake, have your own pancake swaps, staking cakes. There's a lot of resources here on YouTube that explain pancake swap and all its beautiful features, such as this video by Money ZG, this video by Wealth Hacks, Jesse Echo, Crypto Educator, and this very beautiful video by Max Maher if you want to get to know how to make a lot of passive income with pancake swap. But given all these resources, um, I didn't see many resources on, you know, the essentials behind the PancakeSwap API on Python, which enables you to build your own PancakeSwap sniper bot so that you can have an all-in-one PancakeSwap sniping bot for staking cake, leveraging liquidity, and making passive income through a sniping bot. Also, a small update about myself. It's been like two months I haven't published a video. I'm really sorry about that. I've been, I've been getting a lot of comments on my channel like, where am I or where have I disappeared? Or not? No, I didn't disappear. I'm, I'm still here. I'll still be recording videos, YouTube videos. It's just that I have been living in France and I just, you know, I moved in here to a new country that is Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. So far, I'm enjoying it. It's a very beautiful country. I'm doing research, something that I really admire in New York University, NYU Abu Dhabi. So yeah, so far I'm enjoying it. Life is good. Without further ado, let's get started into all the Python essentials that you need to know so that you can build your own PancakeSwap sniper bot by leveraging PancakeSwap's API on Python. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to start by importing the requests package. So requests, it's a package to be able to request data from a certain API, which in our case is the pancake swap API. So we're going to define our pairs that we're going to read from the following API link. So it's pancake swap dot info forward slash API forward slash v2 forward slash tokens. If I copy paste this into my browser, this is what I get. I have all the tokens over here, but you know, I want this in my Python environment so that I could search and perform some other API calls. So the way I can do this is I can get my tokens as requests dot get my pairs and so right now I'm going to print my tokens and let me run this piece of code so I'll go python3 main.py 
And as you can see, I get response 200, which means that the call is successful. Now to see the contents of this call, I'm going to run .json. And there you go. Here's all the tokens that we saw over here. Now to have a nice printing, I'm not going to use the print, but instead I'm going to use another package called pprint or pretty print. If I do that, I could replace this line by pprint of tokens. And if I run this code again, oh, I think I should pass a comma as such. And if I run this line again, there you go. We have a really pretty um, JSON rendered print. Okay? And as you can see here, what you have right here is the so called wallet address. Then for each wallet address in the pancake swap, you've got the name of the symbol, you've got the price, you've got the price in BNB and you've got the symbol that you will use to you know perform other calls this is like the ticker name in stocks so right now what we did is we successfully retrieved all my tokens from the pancake swap api using a simple request call now what i'm going to do is over here perform some searches like Let's say you would want to find or retrieve information only about one particular token, right? Let's say over here, you know, I, I don't know, you're interested in Yushi or ETH, right? The Ethereum token, or maybe BitTorrent token or the Polkadot you get what I mean. So let's say you want to perform a search. Um, so let's say the symbol of interest is, I don't know, um, ETH, right? So first let's figure out how to read this JSON. It's very, very easy. Um, to perform searches, we have this big JSON that has everything so what I'm going to do is first for token and tokens of data dot items I am going to at this point perform a pretty print on token and see what we get and at this point, let me remove this pretty print and just focus on this loop right here, right? So let me run this. And there you go. We see the contents as such. For each wallet address, we see the content as such. Now, to access the symbol, which is what we're searching, all I have to do is just, you know, do token the second item and index the symbol because zero is this and one is this right so if i do zero as such all i'm going to see if i remove this is my crypto wallets as such so all i see is the wallet address right now if i do this what i'm going to see is the name, the symbol, the price, and the price in BNB. So I can access those fields very easily as such. For example, the symbol, my print, I can get the symbols. What does that mean? It means that I could search a particular symbol as such. So if this thing, the symbol, corresponds to my symbol of interest, okay? I could just, you know, let's say pretty print the token. Let's see what that gives. And don't forget the column right here. So let's run this. And there you go. 
okay? So we found the Ethereum and here's the information about it. Now let's say you want to customize your own prints or you don't want to run a pretty print. Um, so you can first print the price in USD, which is the token one. And here we access the price as such. Running this. And here you have the price in USD for the Ethereum, right? Let's say you would want to also print something like the wallet address. So you do token zero on this, and there you go, okay? The other information we, we can grab, as we saw, are the name on this the Ethereum token. So let's say you want to retrieve more information about the particular token. So for example, in our case, the ETH, you want more information like when was the last time this, this wallet address was updated. And that's very important in some applications. So first, what I want to do is say store this wallet address such and then I would want to you know get at this endpoint at this particular API endpoint and you'd want to append the wallet address as such let's run this and there you go it took it now we need to convert this to JSON and let me print it and there you go. This was the last time the following wallet address. Okay, so now let's say you're interested in having all this data in a data frame, right? In Python's data frame. So first thing you'd want to do is import pandas as pd. And you'd also want to import, because you see here we have this date time. Um, we have this timestamp well we want this to be a date time in date time format so for that I'm going to import date time as well so what we're going to do is we've got the URL we've got the request so let's get those tokens that we have right here get the data out of those tokens so tokens dot get all the data as such now the time stamp that we saw we're going to get this field updated at and then because it's in milliseconds I'm going to divide by a thousand then I'm going to convert it to something meaningful that is in date time format right the way to do this is date time dot date time dot from timestamp and I'll pass it the timestamp that I had. Okay. And now I'm going to cast all the data I have in a data frame. So PD dot data frame dot from dict and pass it the data as such. Let me run this to make sure there's no errors. And they're telling me there's no pandas. So, okay, so it seems to me that I don't have it installed. So pip3 install pandas. So now that I have it. Perfect. I will run again. So let's run this. There you go. This is my data frame. Now let me add another row right here for the updated time. So updated is, I believe it's this guy, daytime format. So if I run this, there you go. Those are the times that are right here with their dates.
So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. In this one, I showed you all the essentials, everything you need to know to start building your own pancake swap sniping bot or even an all-in-one pancake swap sniper bot. So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in case you have any questions. I'll see you then. Perfect.